This is the Star Wars The Black Series from the 40th anniversary of Empire Strikes Back. This is the Empire Strikes Back Yoda in the retro carded packaging. Pretty cool. Uh, I, I did get my blue line Yoda and I sold it off because I was waiting for the archive Yoda and I was hoping to get the archive Yoda on clearance, but I, lo I, I, I couldn't get any luck with that with getting that because all the scalpers and hoarders were immediately on the archive line once it went on a ridiculously low price of ten dollars from thirty dollars and uh i was lucky to get this one from hobby corner uh, it was originally retailing at that store for thirty dollars and they had a weekend promo and this was going for fourteen dollars so i decided you know Fourteen dollars is more than fifty percent discount. Might as well get it instead of hunting down the ten dollar archive figure. Uh, normally, I wouldn't open this because I do like to preserve the packaging, the card, and the figure, and just get a double or get another one. But it is a Hasbro figure, and I think you guys know how I feel about keeping things mint, keeping Hasbro products mint in box. <laughs> or mint on card because uh, you never know uh, if you if you have a defective product from Hasbro until you open it up so let's see if we can open up this figure without ruining the packaging too much it's gonna have some tears and yeah and you know I I'm not complaining too much about the glue because we've had some figures from Hasbro that had very mild type of glue and on, on the bubble and over time the glue would just expire and it would lose its its uh, properties its adhesive properties and on the pegs the bubble would actually just fall off so I don't know how to strike a middle ground in, in, with, with this uh, the glue situation uh, for this kind of packaging but I don't know I don't like cutting the bubble or the clamshell uh, out of these carded uh, figures because I I do want to be able to return the car the, the figures back in their packaging or back in the in the clamshell and in the card but if you if you do slice off this one and this one and this one it, it, it's a little difficult to It'll be a little difficult to bring the, put the package, put the uh, figures back in packaging. Why is this being so difficult? Normally, this would be an easy task for me. But, okay. All right. Try not. Man, I was afraid that would, that would happen. Okay. So, let's see if the card is preserved. Yeah. Not too bad, not too much tear on that one. Okay, got the warranty card, nobody needs that. Got his walking stick. The lightsaber is actually from episode three, and which he which he doesn't have anymore in episode. We don't see him use it in episode five. Uh, the snake is from episode five, but uh, this Yoda, I believe, Hasbro made it so that it can re represent the character for both episodes. Episode 3 and at the same time episode 5 and episode 6, I suppose. kind of wish we would get an episode 1 Yoda and with a younger face. Well, I guess this will serve uh, as, as a... Is a definitive Yoda for any Black Series collection. And it's basically the same figure we got from the blue line. It's just that, I'll give you some light on this. They're, they're using this new face painting technology, face painting app on, on the uh, head sculpt, which really makes it look much better. As you can clearly see, I don't have that blue line anymore, but that one looked so much weirder than this one this one looks a lot better and no contest this is the definitive yoda it looks to be the same soft goods uh material fabric they used for his tunic uh you got his belt 
you got this necklace, and you got the snake. Yeah, you got the snake, necklace, belt. Everything seems to be the same except for that new head sculpt, which is really just great. And let me see if you can still hold that lightsaber. No. And then the walking stick. Yeah. Yeah, pretty cool. Very, very happy with this. Uh, in terms of articulation, is there mold degradation? A little bit. A little bit. I can feel some looseness in the joints here and there. Still tight. It's not super loose, nor is it super tight. Ball joints are fine. Thigh swivel. Okay. Pretty good. Then the feet. Yeah. I guess the joints are okay. The, the, the mold has stood the test of time a little bit with this one. So yeah, but this is this is what you're paying for. Um, this is the this really really incredible, very nicely painted head sculpt is what you're paying for with this new version of this Yoda, and of course the card. So yeah, pretty cool. Do or do not. There is no try. Okay. And so for some size comparisons, here is Yoda, together with some other figures, Count Dooku, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Paplu, the Ewok, and the Child. You can clearly see the scale of this figure, perfect scale, pretty happy with this one. And it, it, I'm actually kind of glad I got this figure late so that I could do this kind of scale comparison because if I'd gotten him early, I wouldn't be able to show off uh, the figure with these other newer figures. And so some final thoughts on this figure. I think it's a great figure. It's a great time to buy this figure, especially if you missed out on the archive or the blue line uh, Yoda figure. This is a great, great figure. You get a great card and you get a updated head sculpt for Yoda. I just wish that, you know, they could re-release this figure and give it more articulation, much like what they did with the Ewok figures. Uh, maybe change his his tunic, his robes. Maybe it could be an episode one Yoda. I don't know. That would be an interesting take on this classic figure and character. I did enjoy this figure. This figure is going to get a 9 out of 10 for me. Best of luck to everybody hunting it down. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you think of this figure. Do you think one Yoda is enough in your collection? Or do you need to get all these Yoda figures? Is it a pass for you? Uh, I just hope you don't pay too much for it. Best of luck to everybody hunting him down on retail, especially if you're looking for one on clearance. Um, hit me up in the comment section. And as always, hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. If it's your first time here, please subscribe. And if you want to help the channel out, help me make more video reviews, please check out my Patreon account. There is a link in the description box below. Any form of contribution will be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching.